I was on my way to Crackley protest camp. After a hard and happy year fighting HS2, it was time to pack down the camp. On the already quite convenient and quite quick train ride up to Leamington Spa near Birmingham, I noticed that all the surrounding fields had flooded. Bloody climate change. But I couldn't be too angry. The day was a special day. My friend Acorn had decided to take the plunge and become my royal subject, meaning that together we would be able to put the principles of anarcho-monarchism into practice. Huzzah! 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 Here we go. Oh my god, I am your subject. Okay, your subject. We, have, we, have, we have my first subject. It's very exciting. Hello, Monarch. Oh, wow. What, what, what made you decide to make the decision to be a subject to a monarch there, Acorn? Um, I watched your amazing YouTube video on. Um, honestly, it's a dream that I've always had since I was a small child. Um, I've always really needed someone to follow, um, to, you know, make decisions and, like, survive as a person. So when I met here and I just, like, absolutely fell in love with him, I decided, like, well, it's time for me to decide that I want to be a subject. So I went to him and um, I requested it and he, he very quickly said yes. Mm. Um, and I, I believe I'm your first subject, which just feels really special and important. Now, do you believe that I can heal people just by touching them? Oh yeah, I've seen it with my own eyes. He's, he, I actually used to be like four inches shorter because I have scoliosis. And um, one day he just, he just held me. And I mean, now I'm tall. How do you think your life is going to change now that you're my subject? Honestly, I don't think it will. <laughs> <laughs>